Hey guys, welcome to Skill Curve. Today you're gonna learn how to swap faces in any of your images or videos locally on your computer for free. Yes, we are getting into deepfake today. Although raising some ethical concerns which definitely needs to be addressed, this technology can come in pretty handy. For example, if you wanna try out some live look but unsure as to how you're gonna look, you can use this app. Or you wanna have some fun playing around with different faces and it can have many other use cases as well. Now, in order to do so, we will be using an app called Rook, which is an amazing open source program that allows you to swap faces with just a single click. All you need to do is select a target image or video and a single image with a desired face to be swapped with. No data set and no training is required and the results are pretty amazing. So let's get into it. The installation process of Rook is pretty simple. Whether you are a tech person or not, just follow along the process and you will get there. First of all, you need to click on the GitHub repository link that I have mentioned in description, which will take you to this page right here. Then you need to scroll down to this installation portion right here. Then you need to click on this basic link. Once here, you will find all the instructions that you need to install the Rook software. First of all, you need to set up your platform based on the operating system that you have. Then you will clone your repository from GitHub. Then you will install dependencies by executing this command and you will be good to go. Now let's set up our environment first. Since I have Windows operating system, I will click on Windows. Now in order to set up our environment, we will be needing some softwares and packages. We will be needing Python, pip which is basically Python's package installer, git that we will be using to clone our project from GitHub repository. FFmpeg that handles multimedia related stuff and a bunch of C++ tools. Now in order to install these softwares, you need to execute these commands one by one in your command terminal. You need to be careful with the version number right here, otherwise you may face issues during the installation process or the software may not work properly. I've already installed Python on my system. In addition to Python, I have executed all these commands prior to making this video, so I won't be doing that again. But it's a must for you. Since our platform has been set up, we can move to step 2 which is cloning the repository. To do that, we'll copy this command right here, then go to any of our folders. Once here, create a new folder, naming it anything you want. I'm gonna name it face swap app, then open it as cmd, paste the command right here and press enter. This will clone your GitHub project. It has been completed successfully. We can see our root folder right here. Now we can move to step 3. Step 3 says install dependencies. So what we need to do is copy this command and move back to the terminal. We need to get inside this folder. So we will run this command cd root then paste that command. This will install the requirements for the software to work. Once done, you will be able to run your software. So let's move to step 4. Here it is. We have completed our installation process. We can execute this command to run our software. So go back to the terminal and paste that command right here. This will open the software for us. As you can see, it didn't even take 30 seconds to launch this app. And here is our interface. Pretty simple, right? All you need to do is select a face image and a target image or video. Then start the process of conversion. I'm gonna get back into it, but first I need to mention some other feature of this application. Up till now, what we did was the basic installation of the Rook software. Although it's gonna work properly, the process of conversion might take a bit longer, especially for videos. So, if you have a good GPU, you can move to step 2, which is accelerating your software application. This way, you can boost the performance and the process of conversion will be quite quick. So, go back to the previous page. We have got done with this basic installation of our Rook software. Now, if you are not satisfied with the performance, you can move towards the acceleration process. Although it's not a must, but you can do it if you have got a good GPU or CPU. Now, back to our UI. Everything is pretty simple. All you need to do is select an image of face from here and a target image or video from here and adjust these parameters right here as per your need. Enabling this option will keep the target frames per second. As for this option, it's gonna keep the temporary frames as well. This option right here is gonna skip target audio producing a mute video. These three options can only work with video since they are related to video. 
As for this final option, it applies to both, whether image or video. When it is enabled, that all the faces found in the target image or video will be replaced with the desired face. When it is disabled, only a single face found in this image or video will be replaced by this one. Then you got these three buttons right here. The start basically starts the process of conversion once we have selected these two files. Then we have got the destroy button which closes the application. Then there is this preview button which can be used to preview the output file generated as a result of this conversion process. Okay. Now we are going to start having some fun. As I mentioned earlier, we can use this app to check whether a certain look will suit us or not. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to see how Elizabeth Olsen, a famous Hollywood actress, is going to look with white hair. So I will have to select the face image of Elizabeth Olsen. I have already downloaded this one from Chrome. So I will select that. Then I will have to select the target image with someone with white hair. I have downloaded image of Billie Eilish. So I will select her. Then I'm going to start the process of face swapping. I will have to select the target folder where I want the output file to be generated. So I will create a new folder naming it output and click save. The process of conversion will start. We can see the process right here. It mostly takes up to 30 seconds. As we can see, our image has been processed successfully. Now let's check how it has done the work. Let's navigate to the folder, output, and here is the image. Wow, the image quality is really amazing. And it doesn't even look swapped image at all. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's quite worth it. Now as you saw, the process of face swapping is really simple and the quality is like amazing. So you can move forward with any of your images or videos. For videos, you just need to select the target video instead of image. Now I want to show you how this many faces option works. So let's enable that. Then I'm going to select a face of Mr. Putin. Here he is. Then I'm going to select a target image with many faces. I've got this Avengers Endgame. Now I'm going to start the process of conversion. Since I have many faces option enabled, it is going to swap all of these faces with Putin's face right here. Let's select the target folder. I'm gonna name it output2 and save it. Let's see how our process is going. It has started the progress. Our conversion process has been completed successfully. There is output2. Wow, all the faces have been swapped. We have got put in everywhere. Now, although the face swapping has been done efficiently, as we can see, the image quality has decreased drastically. This is the quality of the image from Roop software and let us compare it with the target image that I had selected. I'm going to open that. Here is that image. As we can see, the quality difference is pretty obvious. So that's a downside of this software. But like it's still pretty good, you know. It does its job. So let's move on. And now I'm going to show you how it works for a video. For a video, I'm going to give it a speech of President Obama's and I want his face to be swapped with Kevin Hart's one and see how it goes. So I'm going to select a face of Kevin Hart. So let's do that. Then I'm going to select a video of President Obama. There it is. Then you need to start the conversion process. Let's see how the result is. Folks from the Pentagon who helped to support their work. Uh... Basically, I'm here to announce that we're building Iron Man. Now, as you can see, the results are pretty good for a free software. Like the face swapping has been done so neatly, we can't point it out, you know. And the lip sync was like pretty accurate. So for a free software, the result is pretty good. I'm going to show you the original video as well, so you can compare the quality chain. This is the original video. Pentagon who helped to support their work. Uh... Basically, I'm here to announce that we're building Iron Man. Yeah, of course, the quality difference is quite obvious. But since, as I said, for a free software, it does a pretty good job. So let's move on. Now, I'm going to show you some of my previously generated output so you can have even better idea of how it works. So let's navigate to that folder. Here it is. This is Tom Holland's face swapped with Lionel Messi. As we can see, the results are pretty good, you know. Then this is the same picture swapped with a messy with beard. Then this is President Obama's face over Stephen Curry. And the results are pretty good. Obviously, the better the quality of the images that you give it, the better will be the output as well. Then I have this Avengers picture with one of the faces replaced with Stephen Curry's. As you can see, I had the many faces option disabled for this photo. That's why only a single face got swapped. Then there is another photo in which I enabled the many faces option. And as you can see, all the faces got swapped. So this is the use of many faces option. Now, 
While generating all these images and videos, what I observed was that this app does a pretty good job for distant people. As for when you get closed up, it doesn't give pretty good results as it is obvious in this image as well. As you can see, the Thor is like pretty good since he is from a certain distance. As for Iron Man's face, you can see it's quite blurred, you know, the pixels are ruined and it doesn't look good. So it's better to use it only for like distant images or videos and not for really close ones. There is another downside to this app as well. While working with videos, sometimes it was giving me the same results like it wasn't doing face wrap at all. Let me show you one of those videos. There it is. I actually wanted the Superman's face to be swapped with Trump's one. So now as you can see, it's same Superman and my face didn't get swept. However, then I tried again and it worked. As you can see, the face has been swept. Now, what I observed during this conversion was that when you have the face at the start of the video, then it does swap the faces. However, as you can see in the previous video, it started with this position and you can see no face here. As for the another video, there is face at the start of the video. So it got swept. So that was my observation and you can test it out for yourself as well. Now since you have already installed the app on your system, you can play around with it and see how it works out for you. So with that, I'm gonna conclude this tutorial for today. Thank you guys for watching.